13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Ty Quinones and right now in your 13 Action News Update, the Culinary Union taking over the strip once again. Well, they are demanding that 21,000 of its members be allowed to get back to work. But well, three lanes of the boulevard were closed because of that rally. Well, meanwhile, casinos still have a number of open positions on their websites. A statement from MGM says in part that we've been calling back and seeking to hire new employees as quickly as we can. We've received a large enthusiastic response from our recent hiring events and are continuing to actively recruit. The CCSD school board is meeting right now and trustees, they are set to discuss the possible termination of Superintendent Jesus Jaro's contract. Now that item was put on the agenda at the request of three school board trustees, including President Linda Cavazos. Now there is also an item on the agenda to discuss the possibility of removing her from the board. We are following the very latest developments from the meeting on KTNV.com. A district court judge now has ruled that the city of Las Vegas illegally took a 35 acre parcel on the Badlands property. Well, this ruling coming down earlier today, the city now owes the developer more than $34 million in damages. Well, this though is just one on the parcel of property. There are a total of 250 acres. There are three more pending lawsuits. Our highs hold close to 80 degrees as we close out the week. Thursday's high temperature was 81. We expect to be right on the line Friday and Saturday. Sunshine on Friday, but partly cloudy on Saturday as this ridge of high pressure starts to break down. That brings in a light breeze on Halloween, but highs still stay mild in the upper 70s. By the start of next week, we're closer to seasonal averages. Danny, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you could always get the latest news at KTNV.com.